everyone, this is Onion. It's Thursday, April 1st, pre-market. Now this morning I'm going to look over uh, OGI with you, some technical insight, short selling activity, and institutional holdings. Uh, it's just after 7 o'clock, or actually 7.20 now, and uh, the bid and the ask, uh, they're up nicely over uh, yesterday's close. So, you know, not a lot of shares traded, but, you know, we are starting uh, in an uptrend uh, in pre-market this morning, so that's a good sign. There was actually one uh, uh, bearish indicator uh, triggered yesterday, uh, the triple moving average crossover. You can see here the, the share price did go up a little bit, but it's it did trigger that that bearish sign uh, because it, it it dropped below that three dollar and fifty cent mark uh, I was uh, mentioning in the last few days uh, of that support. So um, that's why that bearish indicator triggered. But you know, with the pre market price the way it is now, it's actually above uh, the resistance line of the uh, twenty one day moving average. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens today. Uh, it looks like uh, you know it looks like an update to me today, and it looks like it will be crossing. That 21-day moving average and uh, and closing over it. Um, some of the lower indicators are agreeing with me, but as you see, the the MACD it's still on a little bit of a, a downtrend here. Uh, but it seems to start to you know to be leveling out. It's going to have to curl up and cross that average line again to signal a strong uh, upward uh, uh, you know momentum. But for now, there are signs on you know on most of the lower indicators here that the share price is either going to stay sideways or uh, or go up a little bit. Um, and you can see even on the RSI, it's right at 50. So, you know, it's it's right in the middle is where it should be. Um, but again, all the indicators are pointing uh, to an upward uh, uh, momentum here. Uh, if we look at the short selling activity, it was uh, it's actually fairly heavy yesterday, almost uh, 30%. You can see this is the, the whole month of uh, March here. Um, and, this, you know, it's not uncommon to be that high. But, you know, with the share price as low as it was, uh, this actually surprised me a little bit. So, um and we'll have to see today uh, uh, what happens. I, I believe the short selling will probably drop off a little bit, uh, you know, because there seems to be a you know an uptrend in the pre market today. But again, we'll have to see. Uh, it there is, it is cheaper to borrow uh, to sell short today, though the borrow rate has dropped to 2.35 percent, uh, and there's 800,000 shares available. So um, you know, it will be interesting to see it, you know the day from the short selling perspective. Anyway, um, the institutional uh, owners um, there have been a few changes. Um, and I have two conflicting numbers now. Uh, I have the ownership percentage at 29%, but then on another report, I have it at 19.83%. So I'm gonna, t I have to take a look at this this weekend because uh, I hold uh, OGI as well. So I want to get these numbers uh, accurate. Uh, I just don't have the time today to look at it. So over the weekend, I'm gonna check and get an exact number here. I haven't been able to be that accurate here uh, all week long, and uh, I apologize uh, for that. So uh, I hope this video helps. Have a wonderful uh, day trading today, and take care.